chocolate is such a great medium for all spices and fruits. And I don't think many people have ever explored that. I started off with cardamom. That was the first spice that I ever used, and I made it cardamom rose. And so it was a white chocolate ganache infused with cardamom, a little bit of rose water, and dark chocolate on the outside. So that just opened up a whole world of anything that I tried at a restaurant I wanted to try in chocolate. My name is Annie Rupani, and I am a chocolate artist. Cacao is the fruit that chocolate comes from. Ironically enough, like the English language is the only one that turned cacao into cocoa. So very few people actually make the connection between cacao and cocoa, but it's essentially the same thing. The raspberry pistachio is dark and white, but it's delicious. Chocolate was one of those like interim things that I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna play with chocolate and try to figure out, well, where am I going? And I was studying six days a week, and then I started taking a day off and playing with chocolates, reading artisanal books on chocolate. And that led to me going to pastry school in Malaysia. I never woke up and said, I'm gonna be a chocolatier. It just all sort of came into place. Initially, we started off by coloring the molds. Cocoa butter is the fat that's in chocolate, and we paint the molds with cocoa butter. The second step would be creating a shell inside of the mold. So we're trying to create a really thin shell. So when you bite into the chocolate, you have a crisp bite, and then you just get overwhelmed by the ganache, which will melt in your mouth. Ganache is basically an emulsion between cream and chocolate. It could be any liquid in chocolate. So you can make a water ganache, or you can make a coconut milk ganache, and so we play with a lot of that. We make cream ganaches, which are the most normal, and then we also make fruit puree-based ganaches. We also do coconut milk ganaches. So after we're done making our ganaches, which is where all the fun happens with the infusions and fruit, and then we pipe the ganache. We'll pipe it into the shell and let that set. And then we'll add another layer of chocolate to finish off the chocolate and stick it in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes so that it releases from the mold. The Buddha is a really popular. It's a Chinese spice spice praline. So it's a hazelnut praline with Chinese spice spice. There's milk chocolate on the inside and white on the outside. Chocolate is so interesting, just like coffee or wine. There's terroir that affects the way that chocolate tastes. So Colombian chocolate tastes different than Venezuelan chocolate. That'll taste different than Bolivian chocolate. So the chipotle will be dark. The um, s'mores, none of them are solid. They're all like, they all have an interior, like a ganache in the center. It's so accessible. Chocolate is on every candy bar. It's around when you grow up. It's just a part of everyday life. It's almost a category of its own. And I love the Sichuan peppercorn. Yeah, it's, it's very unique. People are a little scared of it, but... But not me. It always surprises them. <laughs> there is something associated with chocolate and happiness. <laughs>